Hi, uh, my name is Jocelyn Alamoon from the Institute of Marine Affairs. I'm the coral reef researcher and also working on the lionfish. We're here at Maracas Beach where we're about to dissect and prepare some lionfish for consumption. This is my colleague, Fidela Ali. Hi, I'm Fidela. Um, I'm a PhD student um, and I've been studying lionfish for the last five years. Um, to date, I've dissected more than 10,000 lionfish and we do a lot of work about trying to eat lionfish. So back in Bonaire where I lived, I used to eat lionfish every day and I'm still standing. We've, um, we're basically introducing lionfish and beak to Trinidad and Tobago. We caught some lionfish in Tobago, brought it over to Trinidad, had it prepared, and um, Richard has now agreed to... to it's fry. not about growing to love somebody. It's either it's there or not. We went on our first date and it hasn't ended yeah. yet. It's really nice to, to feel this. This is really special. And trust me, the talk is juicy. Oof. The three personalities together and the fourth surprise person. Ooh. Talk is going to be juicy. This is invasive lionfish um, from the Pacific, um, introduced into the Caribbean about a decade ago. Um, you can recognize it by its characteristic zebra like stripes um, maroon and white, um, brown and white, red and white. Um, the tail fins, these tail fins here you see has these spots when it's juvenile, they may be white spots. Um, it has these characteristic um, pectoral fins, which are these soft fleshy ones here. These dorsal fins, um, the front of them are spiny like this, so it has 12 to 13 um, spiny dorsal fins. The back of the dorsal fins are quite fleshy. Um, and these dorsal fins, the spiny ones anyway, um, have uh, a venom payload, which you should be wary of, but nothing to be too concerned about. Um, down here we have the, well, below the pectoral fins, we have the pelvic fins, right? The, most of it is soft and fleshy, but at the very end, this one you want to look out for, right? That has a spine in it, which also has a venom payload, so it has one on either side. In the back here, this fin over here also spotted. It too has a venom payload in these two, sometimes three, spines, all right? And the tail fin, it has no venomous spines in it, all right? So when handling it, probably the first thing that we do is remove the venomous spines, all right? And just to, just as a, as a recap, the venomous spines are the dorsal spines on top here, all right? The pelvic um, fin here and in this fin over here. So you're looking at anywhere between 15 and 18 depending upon the size, age, geography, health of the fish. All right, so Fadilla here is probably just going to demonstrate a quick removal of the spines and probably talk some more about the nature of the venom as well as how it's injected into, um, into well, other animals including humans, um, etc. Yeah, so with the, um, with the spines, the dangerous part are the tips to so just um touching the spines you don't get hurt so as you can see here there's like a layer of skin over the um, spine so this is this is how you get stuck so when you apply some sort of pressure the skin is pushed back and that sort of triggers the venom to be released from the grooves in the lionfish there are no um, venom glands or ducts or anything in the skin it's all held within the spines in the grooves so when it comes to lionfish you don't necessarily need to cut down to the skin so the first thing you can do is just sort of bluntly cut them off and I usually go from the tail towards the head so you just bluntly cut everything off and then that makes it really safe to handle because you've gotten rid of all the spines and as Jason mentioned earlier there's no sort of venom within the pectoral fin and a tail. So it's really up to you about whether you cut that off or not. But from this point, it's really safe to handle. You cannot get hurt from anything. When it comes to disposing of the spines, these spines can still have venom in them. So when it comes to throwing it away or even just handling them afterwards, you can wrap them in newspaper and sort of be careful when you're handling them. We don't know how long after the lionfish is dead that the venom is active for so it's just really a precaution so don't just randomly throw them away because someone can step on them and still get hurt um, so in terms of preparing them for consumption you can either fillet the fish as is like this 
or you can um, remove the head and remove the skin before filleting, which we can do now. Um, if you do, most people in the Caribbean like to have it without the skin. So the best way to do that is you sort of cut um, as far down as possible so that you can separate where the skin is, which makes it easier for cleaning. If it gets, especially for the bigger fish, if it's difficult to do so, you can go on either side of the skin and then make the cut, which makes it a little bit easier, especially with the bigger fish. Um, some people like to leave the tail on because they want it to be represented that it is a lionfish. Um, so we can leave that one on for now. The pectoral fins, you don't, um, they have no sort of venom in them. People can use them as a garnish. But what you can do, you sort of just go around and go towards the sort of neck region. And do the same thing on this side. And this is how you can prepare fish. This is how you can especially do the smaller fishes and just sort of deep fry them whole. It's really quite easy to do. Um, and again, you want to sort of separate the skin here. And this fish has already been gutted, but generally it's really easy to get the fish. You sort of just pull again from the tail towards um, the head, and you can just really easily tear everything off. And in terms of skin in the fish, you want to skin the fish? Um, you just sort of pull from where the head was and it really pulls off easily as paper and this is especially easy if the fish has sort of um, been in water so just keep, don't just leave the fish in the fridge keep it in some water, it makes it a little bit easier and you just skin fish off and then this is really um, popularly used, they sort of just spread it, um, just breadcrumbs, eggs, whatever, and bread it, and then you can deep fry it whole. So you can get quite a lot of yield from um, a, a normal sized fish. And the other thing about lionfish is not a very bony fish. So there's just the backbone, so you don't have the problem of um, getting bones stuck while you eat. And it's a white meat, um, has a lot of good fatty acids, and a lot less bad saturated fats. And they say it's sort of similar to snapper or um, grouper, the kind especially. And because it's such a white meat, um, it has a mild taste, which means it takes whatever season and you want very well. Um, and throughout the Caribbean, it's eaten anywhere from appetizers with ceviche, or they can make pizza, burgers. And it's a very sort of, healthy fish to eat and it's also by eating lionfish it does good for the reef so you're sort of reducing pressure and they're already overfished fish we have here and it's also a healthy fish to eat so by eating lionfish you can be doing good for the environment and there's no need to fear lionfish um, because of its spines you should fear lionfish because of the impacts that they have so leaving lionfish in the water means it's eating out the snappers and the groupers that we want to eat so lionfish out of the water is very good to eat. And you can also use these pines to make earrings or the handicrafts that you may like. The thing I would add, it's, it's, it's obvious that Fidelia is fairly well experienced um, dissecting, um, skinning, etc. The, lion, um, the lionfish. Um, only because we were talking about the venom and just to allay any concerns about the venom itself. The nature of the venom, it's protein based and heat, the cooking process actually makes it quite safe. So you notice that we had these spines over here and we were handling the fish in the same environment. Padilla is obviously experienced doing that. But if you want, just put the spines separate from where you'd be handling the flesh. Uh, but even if they were around, the cooking process or any sort of heat destroys the venom itself. It's protein based, which makes it safe to handle. So even if you had the full fish with a full complement of spines, if you were to drop that in some hot oil or some boiling water, you actually break down the venom. So the venom really isn't something to be too concerned about. It's more the environmental impact 
which Fidel was talking about, the impact on fisheries, the impact on ecotourism, etc. And if you do happen to get stung, um, the treatment for it is heat. So any sort of heat, so whether it be put in your hand or your foot in hot water, or if you're out on a boat and you get stung while handling it, um, you can just run your engine and the heat water, the hot water exhaust from that you can use. Or even if you're on land and you don't have any heat, you can just sort of put it on the bonnet of your car or start your engine and use a towel or something and put some water on that and then put it on the engine. And all you really need is heat. There is no anti-venom. Um, they, they can give you painkillers or morphine, but the only sort of treatment is heat, hot water or any form of heat. And with respect to heat, um, this is probably one of the most common questions I get. Um, urine is not considered a heat application. It may sound funny, but I've heard a lot of people say that. Um, urine is body temperature, so you're not exactly applying heat to the affected area. So we've just demonstrated how to properly handle, uh, remove the spines as well as prepare lionfish for consumption. Um, so ask your local fishermen or restaurant whether they sell or prepare it and try it. And so the best thing to remember about lionfish is that the spines are just venomous and they're easily treated. So all you need to do is put, put some sort of heat, whether it be hot water or some form of heat. And to date, no one has ever died from um, a lionfish envenomation. So there's no reason to fear lionfish because of their venomous spines. The reason you should fear lionfish is because of the impacts they can cause to our country and our ecosystem. Oh, and thank you for watching.